Guys, it's finally here. I am so excited. Ever since the pre-orders opened up in December, I have been anxiously awaiting this. And it, even though it got pushed back two months, originally supposed to release in June, pushed back to August, it still got released early in August due to some kind of like coinciding with a holiday in Japan. They went ahead and just released them so there wouldn't be any hiccups or bottlenecks with logistics after the weekend, which I'm very appreciative of. Starting off, Pose looks really great. <clears throat> Very dynamic. We're on that real grade 3.0 frame at this point. So they're really like selling us on how much re-engineering they did. All of these awesome poses. That leg is right up in the air. It's a lot further than I can lift my legs. One thing I didn't realize is that they were including these effect parts for the burning finger, which is going to be really cool. I'm so excited. I know real grade's tagline is that it's ex excitement embodied and this is really it in its truest incarnation i know myself and many other people around my age group grew up watching g gundam and in my young little chicken tender brain the shining gundam and then the g gundam would really go on to become the archetype of what i saw as like an over-the-top like righteous like good hero and it left a big impression on me. So I'm very excited to get something that should do it justice. Let's let's just get right into it. Nice molds on these karate chop hands. And interesting to note that these are molded metallic. You can see the shimmer, that's really cool. The God Gundam, or G Gundam, or Burning Gundam, as is known by Western audiences, is the titular mobile suit of Mobile Fighter G Gundam. It is the second mobile fighter used by Neo Japan in the 13th Gundam fight and is piloted by Domon Kashu. The God Gundam is the successor of the Shining Gundam and it's equipped with a well-balanced arsenal of weapons even though it is primarily a close combat fighter it does have two tri-barreled machine guns in its shoulders along with some head mounted vulcans just like many other gundams before it the god gundam is also equipped with two beam katanas attached to a recharge rack on each rip interesting to note that these beam katanas draw from the main power source of the mobile suit and do not run independently on their own power. It's a pretty neat little note that I was not initially aware of. There are also spurs on the forearms that are known as the God Slashers. And the God Gundam is also powered by that anime level craziness with a lot of heart. So it has lots of numerous special attacks that a lot of them were improvised at a moment's notice by Domon Kashu. The main technique is the erupting burning finger, or erupting god finger, which is an upgraded version of the shining finger. This allowed the god Gundam to concentrate all of its energy into its hand, plunge it into the enemy, and destroy the enemy mobile suit from the inside out by releasing all of that energy at once. And just a little note while editing, I do realize that I had his waist on backwards here, and I do fix that in later frames that you are about to see. Now at first, eight months ago, when we were able to take pre-orders for the God Gundam, I know that there was a lot of hype and speculation, and even some hesitance by myself and others because there were claims that Bandai was completely reformulating the real grade frame yet again to make this kit more flexible. And I am so very happy to tell you that they did it right. It is so good. There is no need to fear having a repeat of 
kits such as the Freedom Gundam or the Zeta Gundam, which get a lot of flack, even though I might not agree with all that flack, but there is nothing. I mean, just look at these poses. Look at those ankles, the arms and the hands stretching over their head. There are extra points of articulation in the shoulders, the hips, the ankles, everything to allow for these very deep, realistic human bends. And even without an action base, you are able to just get in there and make all of these poses for yourself. And it is so cool. The Corlander also comes out and has a lot of really great details, albeit the panel lines on the wings are very lovely. You can also see inside of the cockpit, see that little chair and all the other little details. They really knocked it out of the part with that. It's a small detail. Now we're going to connect it, open up all those wings. You can see him utilizing all those extra points of articulation to grab that beam katana off his hip and rip it open. The energy field wings open up and begin to draw power. And here we have the active energy field with those beautifully molded God finger hands. And those hands are some of my favorite molded pieces that I've ever seen in a kit. They are semi-translucent with that metallic mica finish. It just gives them so much shimmer when you see them in the light. I could just twirl those around with nothing else attached and be completely content. Those shoulders also open up to reveal that hyper mode gold underneath. I'm really interested to see if we get a hyper mode gold plated exclusive. Hopefully it's under gated so that it's not like the Phoenix, like nub mark hell. Those gauntlets also slide down. I love how much of this kit does not revolve around needing to take or interchange parts. Everything moves so fluidly. It's amazing. Alrighty guys, and lastly, like always, we'll just do some articulation, some other notes. This guy has a lot of hands. We got the karate chop hands that bend at the wrist. That's really nice. We've got gesticulating hands for both sides. We've got fist hands, and we've got grasping hands for these beam katanas, which is just lovely. You've seen all the poses. I could twist and turn and contort this guy, but I feel like I've done a pretty good job showing you guys all the stuff he can. Honestly, I am just so very humbled by this build, and, and I'm just in awe. This is no BS the best gunpla that I have ever built. And I am absolutely just blown away by it. It's such a beautiful culmination of everything. And with the, <laughs> with the nostalgia factor from childhood, this feels like a beautiful love letter to the show that got me into the mecha subgenre to begin with. And the color separations from the real grade really helped to make a lot of sense of earlier iterations, even on things like the uh, the Breaker Battle Log line. Having those more different color separations helped to make more sense of some of the simpler reconstructions from the Blazing Gundam. If this kit isn't on your list, I would you, you got to put it on there. This is. Such an amazing kit, and I love it. And I have nothing but good things to say. The hype is real. It's not just hype. This is a truly wonderfully engineered product. If you guys have made it this far into the review, I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. We're getting pretty close to getting that community tab button, and from there I can give you guys polls. You can vote on what you want me to build next. That'd be really fun, and I'm looking forward to like more being able to engage with you guys a lot more. I think we're growing a really nice community here. And as always, if you guys are looking for Gunpla, LeapingPandaHobbies.com, LeapingPandaHobbies.com, where you can use my promo code EGGHEAD, that's promo code EGGHEAD, and get 10% off your entire order, no matter what it is you want to buy. They're constantly restocking old stuff. They get in new kits, and they've got 
Games Workshop, Zoids, and a private warehouse section which has resin kits and all kinds of other wild things that is always feels like a treasure hunt going in to look through. They've been running a lot of wild sales this week too, so that might be worth checking out. Actually, I know it would be worth checking out. The folks over at LeapingPandaHobbies.com are really awesome. There's a Discord now you can join if you get emails from them. You can go to Build Nights and hang out with me and a lot of other really passionate, awesome people who are always really into the hobby. It's really cool to get to experience and it's very like motivating. Awesome kits like this God Gundam and awesome people like you are why I started this YouTube channel to begin with and why I continue to love this hobby. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let's tackle some of those G-Witch kits next.